Can't wait for the day to begin. Come on, Bertie, start singing early. Good morning, Bluebirds. Happy Monday. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. The weather was beautiful. It really is feeling like summer, isn't it? It was great to see so many of you at our celebration for Miss Price. She was totally surprised. Let's get started with our Pledge of Allegiance and our Code of Conduct. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now our Code of Conduct. I respect myself, others, my school, and my environment. I am responsible for what I say and what I do. I am prepared to listen and learn. I will make safe choices. Boys and girls, friends celebrating this birth birthdays this week include Caden in pre-K, Jocelyn in first grade, Brody, Colette, Elena, and Manat in second grade, Isabella and Noah in fourth grade, and Jamie, Ashton, and Brody in fifth grade. Happy birthday to all of those friends. We hope you have a great birthday. Boys and girls, remember you have a chance to be a part of the announcements. Just send in a video of yourself thanking your teacher for a great year and wishing them a wonderful summer, and we'll put you on the announcements. Boys and girls, today is June 8th. Today is National Name Your Poison Day and National Upsy Daisy Day. National Upsy Daisy Day is set aside to encourage you to face the day positively and to get up gloriously, gratefully, and gleefully each morning. What an awesome holiday. Today is also National Best Friends Day. For two house points, tell me what makes your best friend extra special. On this day in history in 1786, the first commercially produced ice cream was produced. It was advertised in the newspaper and sold at a tavern. In 1789, the Bill of Rights was proposed to Congress by James Madison. And in 1861, Tennessee became the 11th state and last state to secede from the Union. For two house points, tell me what secede means. Don't forget to include your house color, Bluebirds. And now it's time for our Strange But True segment from our guest correspondent, Ryan Martin. Hello! Today I have two facts about ice cream. California produces the most ice cream in America. 87% of Americans have ice cream in their freezer. Are you one of those 87%? Thanks, Ryan. Have a great day, Bluebirds. Spend some time exercising your mind and body with some reading, some math, some exercise, Get creative, and we'll see you tomorrow. Remember, when you have a choice, choose kind. I wish you well.